India, among the world's most populous nations, is home to more than a billion people. It also has a unique ecosystem with exotic animals like tigers, elephants, gibbons, and perhaps something else. Some believe a creature that is half man and half beast also lives here. A cursed monster they call the monkey man. Some were saying that it looks like a monkey. Others were saying it looked like a bear. It walks on two feet. It didn't have any marks or anything. It was just hairy and black. And it made this sound. Oi! Eyewitnesses describe a beast up to eight feet tall, yet nimble enough to leap great distances. The creature has black hair and is said to walk upright. It is believed to have a flat, gorilla-like face and to make strange calls. The creature has been spoken of for decades, but in 2001, Delhi, the capital of India, was the scene of a rash of violent attacks. The first sightings were reported in the crowded slums of Ghaziabad, east of the city, but reports of the creature quickly spread. People were talking about seeing a monkey man, but I didn't believe the stories. Ghaziabad resident Noor Jahan was one of the many victims attacked by the creature. It was 11 a.m. in the morning and I went upstairs and there was something going on in the street. And all of a sudden I looked around and there was something there and I got really scared. Jahan describes a terrifying ape man attacking her. I was very scared. I tried to run away from him and he kept chasing me. And he pulled me back and tried to attack me. He kept hitting me again and again. He kept coming at me and I kept trying to hit it. It just kept happening. I was unconscious and the men in my family took me to the hospital. I kept taking medicine for my head injuries for six months and I was scared. Fear paralyzed Delhi, and as stories of the monkey man spread, so did the panic. The first call that we got was on the 10th of May 2001, at about 10.51 p.m. Suresh Roy was a police commissioner at the time of the attacks. He was given the assignment of leading a special task force to capture the creature. We had sleepless nights, number of days we couldn't sleep. 12 o'clock night, the call will come. Victims claim they were beaten and clawed by a powerful assailant with monkey-like features. It attacked alarmingly quickly, then fled over the rooftops. With the temperature rising, residents began to sleep outside, and the frequency of attacks increased. In the span of uh, 10 days, we got 379 calls. So whenever the calls came, we reached to the spot. The heat wave resulted in power outages, plunging the streets into darkness and compounding the panic. Three people died fleeing the creature, and dozens were hospitalized. One guy who was told that some monkey man has come, he was sleeping on the uh, third or fourth floor, floor of his house, he jumped. Two of them jumped and one of them died. The police took to the streets. We had about uh, 3,000 police officers involved. We had collected people from local police. We had collected people from other paramilitary organizations because the area to be scanned and uh, combed were quite big. So therefore, a lot of people had to be posted in various areas affected. We fixed video cameras, uh, uh, night vision devices at various places, and we also had the sniffer dogs, you know, from the Delhi police. Some neighborhoods organized their own nightly patrols to frighten away the monster. But the sightings only increased. So number of days this kind of operation continued and we could not lay our hands on any kind of creature of this nature coming as monkey man. The Delhi police consulted forensic experts who tried to find a rational explanation. Initially, it started with a few isolated incidents. Then suddenly, the number of the cases has increased exponentially. Dr. S. K. Verma, a professor of forensic medicine, was consulted as part of the investigation. 
He says that media hype was to blame. This case was a unique case, a single episode involving so many people, creating so much of uh, media attention. Um, it was really amazing. The police compared the injuries of past animal attacks with the wounds of the victims of the Delhi Monkey Man. Their analysis did not point to any known animal. The uh, pattern of the injuries by a monkey and we'll have a characteristic bite pattern involving the various number of teeth. But since that was absent in these cases, uh, we concluded that it is not because of a monkey or some animal, rather these are of a different nature. The Monster Quest expedition team has traveled to the Indian subcontinent to investigate the scene of the most notorious attacks in Delhi. They will also trek deep into the jungle of Nokrek Biosphere, an Indian wildlife reserve to explore the most recent sightings. We know that great apes today exist in Africa and they also exist in the islands of Indonesia, Borneo and Sumatra. Esteban Sarmiento, a world-renowned primatologist, will lead the search. The first step in his process will be to determine if a known primate exists in this area. We know that prehistorically they have found fossil great apes across Asia, India, all the way to China, and it's likely that some of these apes may still live. After studying great apes for 20 years, Sarmiento is able to identify primates from footprints, hair, and other signs. Before he can say if the monkey man is a new species, he must discount possible misidentification. Humans with long hair could be conceivably uh, identified as being a monkey man. Sarmiento starts his investigation in Delhi, interviewing Noor Jahan, the woman left unconscious after she was attacked. Can you tell me what its face looked like? Do you have a dry nose like ours or a wet nose like a dog's? It was black all over. The eyes were placed like ours, but they were dark. It looked like a regular monkey's face. I have no idea about the nose. Was he making any sounds while he was fighting you? When the monkey walked towards me, he made a woo type of sound. Otherwise, there was no sound. And when it stood, how tall was it? This tall or that tall? About five feet tall. Sarmiento also specializes in functional anatomy. He can determine if the behavior of the creature people describe is consistent with the anatomy of a known primate. Gorillas aren't such good jumpers, but a chimpanzee, you know, an animal that's weighing 180 or 200 pounds, could jump one or one and a half stories down and, and run away without a problem. So tell me what happened in 2001 when you were attacked. Around 2 or 3 in the morning, there were noises outside. I went downstairs. When I was on the stairs, he came out and grabbed me. When he attacked me, I had heard people say he rips stomachs apart with his claws. That's when I grabbed his hands. Then he ran and jumped onto the street. But when I looked where, I couldn't see. And he didn't even make a sound. Can you describe in the most specific detail you can what the creature looked like? He wasn't a monkey. He was like a man. On his face, I could only see his glowing eyes. The rest of his face was all covered in hair. Did you see how tall he was? Was he this tall or that tall? Did he have a tail? It didn't have a tail. It was walking on two legs like a human and it reached to about my shoulder in height. Through more detailed questioning, Sarmiento continues his hunt for clues and finds a witness with scars from his attack. The creature jumped on my chest and he bit my neck. He was very big. And then I fought with him and threw him off me. Then he clawed me or bit me. I can't really say. It was a deep wound. 
Then he scratched and bit me here, and I had to get four or five stitches. Sarmiento examines the scar to compare it to other primate attacks he has seen. I've been attacked by great apes and also an occasional monkey here and there. And it was really difficult to, to say that the scars really belonged to monkey teeth. The only conclusion that Sarmiento can draw from the interviews is that the attacks left the victims terrified. There is one clue that he'll need to pursue further. The rash of sightings in Northeast India. I was scared for my baby because I saw blood dripping from the mouth of the creature. Monster Quest has traveled to India, searching for a ferocious monster that has been terrorizing the region for centuries. The infamous Monkey Man. The accounts of terrifying hairy ape men stretch back as far as 77 BC, when the Roman historian Pliny the Elder wrote of a monkey-like tribe called the Cromandae. Pliny described the Cromandae as a forest tribe that has no speech, but a horrible scream, hairy bodies, keen gray eyes, and the teeth of a dog. The accounts continued throughout the centuries. While India was part of the British Empire, British settler Henry Piddington wrote of an unknown forest race of mysterious monkey men. While returning from work on Piddington's plantation in Jharkhand, India, a group of local day laborers stumbled upon two bizarre creatures. The monkey people, as they were known to locals, appeared almost dead from starvation. The group captured the beasts and delivered them to Piddington, who knew much about primates. He studied the creatures and recorded his description. He was short, flat-nosed, had pouts-like wrinkles in semi-circles round the corners of his mouth and cheeks. His arms were disproportionately long and there was a portion of reddish hair to be seen on the rusty black skin. Piddington made arrangements to send the pair to Calcutta for further study. But late one night they escaped without a trace. The sightings of the beasts have persisted into modern times, with the most recent accounts reported in the Garo Hills, 800 miles from Delhi, in the remote Indian state of Meghalaya. This mountainous region is hemmed in by the plains of Bangladesh, the Myanmar jungles to the east, and the Himalayas of Nepal to the north. And Northeast India is part of the Indo-Burma biodiversity hotspot. Anurbandata Roy is a wildlife biologist who is an expert on the animals of the region. You have the tigers, you have the leopards, you have the wild dogs, the, the major predators. You have uh, the clouded leopard, which is an arboreal uh, smaller leopard. You have a huge amount of uh, herbivores here, and the, the biggest one of which is the, the elephant, the gore, 